Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about misprints and what is the value of misprints. Now, th this conversation mainly dealt with the Modern Masters 2015. As you guys know, there's lots of ink misprints, there's lots of off-centering, and to the point that your foil card could just mean have like this card as a sentence, as a word, I guess, and that's it. So Modern Masters 2015 was full of misprints. Now, I never really understood misprints. Um, I don't know how to value them, and I don't really know how to trade away. There's a guy in Asgard Games who has a ton of misprints, and he values them insanely high. And I look at it, it's cool, and I sometimes want to trade for it, but a, something that I feel like is kind of ugly almost, he is going to put a 10 to 25 multiply on it. Even like a simple misprint, like a simple miscut, uh, like that you can, a notice, noticeable miscut. Uh, and that's the other thing. A lot of people like have these misprints that I don't consider misprints because they're like, you know, a slightly like down a little bit, slightly to the left. Like, it's like, what? <laughs> like, why would this uh, increase the value? If anything, it decreases the value. That's something else I want to, let's, I'm going to focus on that right now. Why would you have a misprint deck which would confuse your opponents? I'm, in, I'm talking about misprints with like four cards on it. Um, confuse your opponents, might not even be tournament legal, and you're going to pay 10 to 25 times as much for that card. And the, the problem, the main problem I see with misprints is that it is confusing to other players. Like what if you're, you have two cards on it, yeah, it's kind of cool to talk about, but if you're in like a serious tournament, like what's going on? Like what card do you want to play? Is it the top half? Is it the bottom half? It just adds another level of complication. For Modern Masters, it's just very un... un they do not look good. The ink blots, the off-center cuts, like all this stuff. Like whenever I see like a event deck and the event deck is misprinted, the entire way down. I'm like, okay, it's interesting, but why would anyone buy this? Like, why would anyone pay like a hundred times? So if the event deck is $35, then they're trying to get like at least 350 to, depending on what the event deck is. I saw one with Stoneforge Mystic and I think Art Falia, and I really wanted the just the Falias, but they were selling the deck as a package and it was like, $850. I get that you have 75 miscut cards, but I don't get why suddenly it is, you know, 10 to 15 to even a hundred times more expensive. I was looking at a miscut a Lion's Eye Diamond. I really wanted it for the channel and I bid 800 on it. I think it ended up at like 4,000 or something. It's, it's like, what is going on, right? Like, what is going on? It, it's just so crazy to me. And if you wanted to create misprints and you had the technology, which isn't that hard, I imagine, you could just buy a, go on eBay, buy a sheet of uh, uncut magic cards, which are very common on eBay, and then just start cutting your misprints. What's to stop anyone from doing that? Like, and then people are like, oh, well, it's not right, blah, blah, it's not the consistency, blah. Hey. Hey, are there people in like Asia who do this without you know the official product? Could they do it? I don't know. Maybe like everything that has to do with cardboard. So I do deal with printing, and I do with uh, printing companies. Uh, one very big printing company um, located everywhere. It's actually one of the nationally largest printing companies, and they can make anything you want. Like Wizard of the Coast is not using a bigger printing company than them, and then you just tell them, hey. Can you cut this? They would probably figure out exactly how to cut it for you. And people are like, oh, that's illegal, blah, blah. I, is that illegal? Like, isn't, if you purchased from eBay an uncut sheet of paper and you just cut it randomly, why would that be illegal, right? I mean, I don't understand. Like, how's that illegal? But anyway, uh, misprints are just meant to me, I don't like misprints. prints. I like cards that I can read. I like cards when my opponent has cards I can read. And I like uh, overall the idea of collecting misprints. I like collecting artwork. I have no pieces of original magic artwork, but I might add a few pieces uh, eventually, especially about angels. But I will, all dragons. I love the dragon artworks. Um, 
It would be nice to get my hands on a few of those. Maybe a dragon whelp would be uh, interesting, but that I'm sh I'm sure that one is insanely pricey. But uh, misprints are just kind of, in my opinion, they just don't. They look cool, but are they worth 10 to 100 times the regular card? No. No, de definitely not. Like, it doesn't make sense to me how, like, somehow, like, in other card games, a misprint is just considered devalued. For instance, uh, in baseball cards, if a card is off-center, one of the gr four grades for a card is called centering. And if it's off-center, it gets a low grade. So a misprint in terms of baseball or football cards is considered very bad, like very bad. Um, but in Magic, it's considered good and more valuable. I don't get it. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you disagree with me, you agree with me. What are your opinions about misprints? Would you pay 10 times, 100 times for a simple misprint or would you uh, not trade for them? Bye guys.